Hello there everybody, welcome back to another episode of Try New Things, where today we're going to do another tractor mod on the RK25. Now this particular mod, I haven't seen it done to a tractor yet, and I certainly haven't seen it done to an RK25. And I think the need for it is very much limited anyway, but I do have one particular use case for it, which I'll get to at the end of the video to show you why I'm doing it. So here inside the box is my latest mod. So on Amazon, it's listed as a jumper terminal extension. And what you do is you hook this up to your battery and it provides an alternate location if you want to jump start your vehicle. Now I'm hoping I don't have to jump start my tractor too often, but if I ever do, this will be convenient. But let's go ahead and get this installed, and then I'll show you why I bought it. Now the location for the battery on an RK25 is pretty much where you would expect it to be, and that is under the hood. It's actually, you can almost see it through the grill. Um, but to get to it, I'm going to have to lower the, uh, the brush guard and then pop the hood and I'm gonna go ahead and raise the bucket to give me some extra room so let me go ahead and get that bucket up in the air and then we'll get uh, get access to the battery Here you can see, right at the front on the floor, is the battery. And the terminals are fairly conveniently located on the top. But that's what I've got to connect to. Now I need a convenient place to mount the extension. And I think the most convenient place is going to be on that brush guard. So I'll have to make sure that however I hook this up, it works in the up or down position. Well, this should be a fairly straightforward and easy installation, I'm hoping. I don't want to cover up the, uh, the brand Rural King. I can't put on the bottom the way the cables connect. So I'm going to put it on the front, right here in the middle. And we'll go from there. But it's simply, just need to drill out two holes and insert two bolts. And we should be good to go. Okay, so now that it's all mounted up and we've got our new jumper terminals on the outside of the Rural King tractor, it's time to hook up the leads back to the battery and then I'll reveal why it is that I bought this particular upgrade for the RK25. Try to get a shot here, but I've got uh, the two ends of the leads attached to the terminals on the battery and then I zip tied the cables where they're coming in under the hood uh, just to keep the slack uh, above the battery and not outside of the tractor. So let's go ahead, close this back up and see how it looks on the outside once complete. All right, there it is. Hopefully those cables don't catch on anything. I don't go through a ton of brush or weeds with the tractor, so I'm hoping this is gonna be all right again. There's my new terminals on the exterior, connected to the battery. Now all we gotta do is put it to work. All right, welcome back. It's a different day and I've got with me co-star, my dad, Wayne Gladstone, who's here to help me. In the beginning of the video, I showed you how I set up the uh, battery terminal, remote battery terminal on the front of the RK25. And the reason I bought it is to hook up this 12 volt water pump, which we're going to do today and fill up our remote watering tank that we use to uh, water the blackberries, elderberries and all that kind of thing. So stay tuned. We're going to dig out this pump and I'll meet you down at the pond. 
So here is the setup. We have a 12 volt submersible pump with alligator leads that will now connect to those new terminals that we put there on the front of the tractor. And hopefully all goes according to plan and this works. And we can use the pond to fill our water tank up. So now we got the pump in the water and we've got the alligator leads attached to the new terminals. And here is the power switch. If we just flip that on, we should get water. Mud. Is it working? Yep. You get muddy water. Well, you get what you get. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed another episode of Try New Things. Big pleasure today. I've got the bonus of having my uh, dad here with me, so he was a huge help filling up the water tank down at the creek and trying out that new pump. If you have anything that's a 12 volt uh, implement or tool that you want to use with your tractor on occasion, I do recommend checking out or trying out one of those remote terminals. It makes the job a lot easier than lowering that brush guard, opening the hood, crawling underneath and hooking up to the battery every time. So very pleased with that option. I'll put a link in the description uh, below for Amazon. And uh, as always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. You gotta wave, you gotta wave, Dad. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> or you can just set it at like as a minimum. Yeah. Anyway, we're on TV, so... <laughs> no, we're not. Yeah, we are. There. Over and done with. That was easy. <laughs> we're not. I think I was recording. <laughs> if not, we'll have to do it again. So here's the setup. We've got a 12 volt... Volt. See? I screw yeah. up all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You film the wrap up. Where are you going? You gotta fill the wrap up. Well, I don't need to be in there. <laughs> it's too late. You're in. You're starring in it. <laughs> okay.